We arrived in court a few minutes early, so I sat down next to my lawyer and we waited. The hearing was a pure formality. I only wished I could walk away a free man, albeit a poorer man, to start my life anew. Modern divorce law is a travesty. When you break a business contract, and there are serious consequences. But if you break a prenuptial agreement, you are told, no fault, but you must divide the property and take care of your ex-wife. This is chauvinistic law masquerading as modern requirements. Lawyers and judges just got tired of listening to spouses lie and decided to make their lives easier. As we waited, I remembered the events that brought me here. She was leaving on another business trip. There had been too many lately. On this trip she was leaving on Tuesday and was scheduled to return Saturday afternoon. I was truly sorry that she had to work hard all Friday, even in the evening. I was a gullible husband. I was her junkie. I got up to make my morning coffee. She was already in the shower and her packed suitcase was at the door. I had bought her a necklace, one of those just for fun gifts, and that's why I opened her suitcase and started hiding the box with the necklace deep under her clothes. And that's when I noticed something that shouldn't be there. Underneath her business suits was a short negligee. I trusted her, but I wasn't stupid. I knew what that meant. I decided to send her a message, so I ran into the kitchen, grabbed a sharp fillet cutter, and began cutting long ribbons from top to bottom of her sexy clothes. With each slice, I imagined her taking it from her suitcase and her face would change from lust to confusion to panic. She would realize what I recognized. For more quick cuts of the panties and the job was done. I folded them neatly and hid them back in her suitcase. Then I put the necklace in my pocket. I was more than useless at work that day and made enough mistakes to back out instead of moving forward. At 3 p.m., I gave up, sat down with my boss, and told him what I had discovered. I didn't mention the knife. He had been in this situation before and told me to go home or visit a friend, but not to be alone. I called the lawyer and made an appointment for the next day. Her call rang a little after 8 p.m. She was crying, begging, saying it meant nothing. To her it was nothing, but to me it was everything. She said she would be home soon. I asked her not to worry, and she started screaming and crying even harder. I never found out for sure, but I doubt her lover got anything that night. Years had been spent building a family, and now it had all turned to ashes because she was bored, or felt old, or needed a thrill, blah, blah, blah. I was agitated by my thoughts. Everybody up. The case of Mason v. Mason, are both parties ready to proceed? The judge asked. My lawyer started to answer. Her lawyer advanced his views. It went like a vicious circle. I see that child support is set at $800 a month for four years. Is everyone in agreement? We have an agreement, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor, our attorneys responded with business confidence. That seems to be all right, then. If there's nothing else to say. I rose to my feet. Your Honor, can you listen to me? Mr. Mason, you have an attorney. You should let him speak for you. That's why you pay him. Yes, sir, but it occurs to me that it's not fair. Mr. Mason, you must understand Dash. Yes, Your Honor, I know it's thoughtful, but justice must be fair. My wife broke the prenup, but at the end of the day, I am the one paying her alimony. Mr. Mason. Yes, Your Honor, we have unequal salaries, and she deserves my support when she goes to her own income. Yes, Mr. Mason. The thing is, sir, we cook differently, for example, and I deserve her help when I transition to cooking on my own. Doesn't she need to cook and clean for me for the same reason I need to support her with housing? Your Honor, this is very unusual. Her lawyer seemed to finally wake up. But that's not the way it should be. I saw a smile slowly begin to form on the judge's lips and wondered if he was divorced. No, sir, but it would be fair.